Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Naja in Germany, where you get your trendy political news, celebrity gist, traveling, blog in Europe, and many more. Please, guys, if this is your first time on this channel, please kindly like and subscribe. Share this video so that YouTube can recommend this for more people to see. And remember to drop your comments at the end of this video about your opinion. Now, let's dive into today's discussion. My people, the day we are all waiting for is here. The election petition will begin today, May 8, and many Nigerians have been waiting for this tribunal to commence quickly before the swearing in of Bola Ahmed Tinubu on May 29. At least for the well meaningful Nigerians, though, who we'll still believe we can still make Nigeria great again. Peter Obi and his legal team has arrived at Abuja for the election tribunal that will begin today, May 8. And people are gearing up and are confident that Peter Obi is going to reclaim his mandate. And a lot of obedience are pumped up as Peter Obi have already gotten a first victory in court. Ask me why. Okay. Uh, all the as all the judges in charge of this election petition panel have ruled out that it is compulsory for a candidate to win 25% in 20 states and the FCT included. Listen very well. He said, and the FCT. And it is only Peter Obi that has this feat of winning over 20 states, 25% in 20 states and including the FCT, which some of these candidates didn't have. Bola Tinubu did not have 25% in FCT, but the INEC and the APC, they are trying to switch, swangle it, or they are trying to switch the issue or to, to try to make it look as if it is not necessary or it's not relevant. And thank God the judges have said that it is important that uh, you must have 25% in 20 states, which is two third of the country, uh, across the country, and 25% including the FCT. But meanwhile, that's a point gained there. So we hope the judiciary uh, would live up to expectation, would live up to the task of doing what is right by saving democracy. Meanwhile, on the other hand, May 29, the inauguration of the disputed present elect is still in motion. If it were to be a world democratic nation, the inauguration ceremony would have been cancelled or suspended or even postponed until this election tribunal is being concluded. Yes, guys, that's how it should be. Not by um, you are doing the election petition, is the election, electoral petition is going on and still the president-elect is still preparing to be sworn in. So I don't understand. This is so confusing. Why is Nigeria like this? I don't know why. It's Nigeria like this. Nothing is working straight, proper. Everybody just doing their own. At least they should be in accordance. The, 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 the law court should suspend this thing that is going on. Many people have been calling for the suspension of the swearing-in of this president elected by INEC. And senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Filana, have this to say about this situation. Watch yourself, guys. The man who set up the panel, mm. that's the electoral reform panel, uh, the late Yaradua, could not enforce, could not implement the provisions. Yeah, but I'm wondering why it wasn't incorporated into the no, electoral all the act. other regimes, successive regimes, have preferred to retain the status quo because they profit from it. Right. Yeah. And yeah. all the legislators right. also want to take advantage of the loopholes in the system. To keep themselves in office. We've gone beyond the waste panel. Right. We just have to embrace technology. The waste panel didn't think we're going to have beavers. No, but I, I... Waste panel was pushing. Yeah. Was that we should have enough time. Let's say six months. Conduct the election six months before inauguration. Mm. So that all the uh, uh, petitions will have been concluded. Yeah. That, that was it. But now I am saying that even at this, at this the way point, it is now so you can you speed conduct, the process up. in yeah. this case you conduct elections in february mm -hmm. right if you embrace technology and make it work we can conclude election petitions in 14 days or 21 but days. of course it does require right. constitutional amendment because right now the constitution provides for six months at the time that provision was entrenched in the constitution the drafters never thought mm. we're going to go electronic 
So if it is working in Kenya and some other African country, absolutely, why can it not work in Nigeria? Well, let me ask so, you to unless, yeah. for instance, I'm talking of the presidential election. Sure. If you have gone electronically, you don't need to go to the court of appeal. Mm. Now, if you've gone electronically, you don't need to have governorship elections, right? You don't need to have three stages. Now, that is the only one. It's only the governorship election. I will start from the election petition tribunal to the court of Fiber mm. and the Supreme Court. All the others. Two stages. So we need to also have a uniform yes. electoral uh, act that will capture the fears of Nigerians. Mm. You heard it for yourself, guys. So he said, if Nigeria really wants to do the right thing, if Nigeria really wants to do what is right, even as bad as it is right now with a short period of time, Nigeria should just embrace technology and allow beavers to do what they were brought in for. As simple as that. Let the judicial system make sure they use the figures from the beavers and the IROV, how uh, they call it, to calculate and to proceed in this case. Don't I don't want the situation whereby INEC should be the one dictating or how the proceedings should go. Please, let them do what is right, at least for once. Let Nigerians have hope again that, yes, the judiciary is up to the task. The judiciary can be counted upon. We want a new Nigeria. We want what is right. We want a Nigeria that is working for everyone. Yes, okay, now let's move on to the next one. Now, let's talk about Lai Mohammed. You guys all know how Lai Mohammed was in the United States of America, and he was interviewed, and he took the matter of Nigeria elections to the international scene and he called Peter Obi all sort of name and he said Peter Obi and Baba that are made are committed treasonable acts and they should be arrested and stuff like that. He even went he went to the UK and gave the uh, same such statement and since then Peter Obi has not replied or has not even responded to him. He kept mute and now Peter Obi was at Arise News and he was uh, on an interview and he was asked about this incident and Peter Obi gave a very sublime reply that you only know Peter Obi, you always come in a respectful way but he, he knocked him out. Like Mohammed is just something else. We all know who Lai Mohammed is. He lives according to his name, Lai Mohammed. He lies a lot and this is what Peter Obi have to say. Charles is the height of rascality. Height of rascality. And it was even announced in Washington. I committed a treasonable offense. And I'm in on nature. And my minister went to announce it in Washington. This is what I'm talking about. We're not talking about waste in governance here. People don't want to understand. The amount it cost Nigeria for him to go and announce that in Washington can fix I can tell you, I've been in government, can build a block of six classrooms in a primary school. I'm sure if you go to his village, there's so many places where children don't even have desk or classroom to go to school. And instead of using that money to go and do it, he used that money to go to Washington to announce of treason of somebody who is an only child. Hmm. He doesn't need to do that. It is rascality of the house order. These are the reason why we want a new Nigeria where things will work the way it works in other clients. From there he went to London announcing the same thing. Well, I'm in Nigeria. He should have come to see me or invite me and say this is the offense. So that is the response of Mr. Peter OB, guys. And um, this will be the end of this video and as we wait for the proceedings to start i uh, will keep up to date i uh, hope to bring you more videos during the day as we end this video here yeah, please guys if this is your first time on this channel please kindly like and subscribe share this video so that youtube can recommend it for more viewers to see and we'll, as we keep growing to get to 1k subscribers thank you guys and peace out